I'm Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded, and in this video, I'll be showing you three strategies to defeat your taller opponent. The first strategy is to stay on the outside, waiting for your opponent to come to you and counter. I like to counter with a lot of low kicks. I understand this was back when I was an amateur, and you can't just do this at a higher level, but I essentially ran and countered all three rounds. I won the fight by unanimous decision purely from low kicks and overhand bombs, as you'll see later in the video. Or if they throw kicks, I like to catch and sweep their long legs. If you're fighting an opponent that's taller than you, you're usually stronger because you're the same weight, yet he's taller than you. Sometimes giving you the advantage to outpower them by grappling. But if he rushes forward aggressively, regardless of who is stronger, a takedown such as a double leg is very easy to finish. On the other hand, if your opponent is a counterfighter and you're both playing the patient counter game, you can then start using fakes to bait him in to counter the counter. The second strategy is to try to land a big overhand right punch. This is because your taller opponent is looking down at you. His hands are probably lower because he needs to see you. If there's any punch that they don't see coming, it would be the overhand right, the uppercut jab, or the cross to the body. An effective combination would be to leap in with the uppercut jab and then throw the big overhand right. Strategy three, you probably heard of, which is to close the range with your opponent because a taller opponent usually has the advantage. But with that said, I personally still like to stay on the outside even though I'm fighting a taller opponent because I'm just better with my footwork and speed. However, I have some pretty good footage of my sparring partner who is shorter than me relentlessly ripping my body in the pocket. On the other hand, although it is an effective strategy, be careful if your opponent is much stronger or skilled in the clinch. Because unlike this sparring match, in a full out war, it is very easy for your taller opponent to knee you in the body, in the head, or push off into a head kick. When I'm in clinch position with a very tall opponent in MMA, I'll either try to go for the takedown or frame off of him. However, in Muay Thai, I'll usually go for the sweep if the opportunity presents itself or I'll get the double unhooks and glue my hips to my opponent's hips. I'll stall until the ref breaks it up. I did this probably about 10 times in this fight. My opponent was just too tall for me to try to clinch. He was too tall for me to try to knee him. And this is how I beat an opponent that was 6 feet 4 tall in a pure Muay Thai match. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please also remember to subscribe because we got new videos coming every week. And don't forget to check out MMAShredder.com where you can subscribe to my mailing list for some exclusive content.